win if Maddox continued to fight his leukemia. Giving away UFC belts is something George St. Pierre did when he won and defended the welterweight title. His coach Faraz Zahabi mentioned it in St. Pierre's book, The Way of the Fights. After each one of George's title victories, he gives his belt away. He gives it to someone close to him. Someone he feels helped him reach his goal. This is pure amazement to me. After his big fight in Toronto, in front of the biggest live audience ever to watch a UFC championship, after he had beaten the only opponent the public felt could beat him, Georges gave me his belt. We were in the octagon right after the fight, celebrating. They put the belt around his waist, and he turned around, and he whispered in my ear, This one's for you. That was the biggest venue in UFC history, his crowning moment in history, and he wasn't thinking about himself. He hadn't been wearing the belt for more than five seconds, no more than five, and he gave it away. This belt represents everything he's worked for, and then he turns around and gives it away. I can't tell you how touched I was. What an incredible thing to do. I can't say that I truly understand the gesture. I was perplexed that that's what was on his mind after his fight. One of the guys who manages his accounts told me another George story. He told me that George, because he spends too much time on the road, could easily establish his residency in another country where the tax rates are much lower than Quebec's. That it was recommended to George that he should do this so he could save money, just like Formula One drivers or other big international athletes do. And he refused, flat out, and immediately without even thinking about it or the money for a second. Georges said, I live here most of the time and I want to keep living here. I benefit from the services like everybody else, so I'm going to pay my share like everybody else. It's not about the titles for him. It's not about the money, either. It's about the experience and sharing the experience. That's the heart of GSP. And people should know. It says a lot about him and his life priorities. Justin Wren has been helping fight slavery and oppression in Africa and has helped dig wells for clean water, grow and harvest food, and buy back land that was taken from the pygmy people. He's also working to replant trees in areas deforested by companies seeking to exploit the minerals there. John Cholish expressed dissatisfaction with the payments he received in the UFC, but in his final fight in MMA, he donated all his earnings to help the Oklahoma tornado victims. Ronda Rousey donated $30,000 to the the Reaction Institute, which is a non-governmental sporting program for children in Brazil. In 2010, Dana White paid $50,000 to replace a four-year-old girl's liver to save her life. Ryan Bader has donated over $70,000 to various charities, including the Wounded Warriors Organization and Naval Special Warfare Family Foundation. And in 2011, Ensign Inoue traveled to Northeast Japan to aid earthquake and tsunami victims. Ensign loaded up a Hummer with supplies and drove it over to help those in need.